This tutorial will show you an easy and straightforward way to identify the biology represented in a set of genes. We're going to use Gene Ranker for this, which you find here in the Tools section, and we will also take a quick peek at the Genomatics Pathway System. Gene Ranker takes a list of identifiers as input, for example, entry gene IDs. You can enter them in this field or upload a file. For this example, we will use a file with gene IDs. In developing mouse adipocytes, the promoters of these genes bind both PPR gamma and retinoic X receptor. This has been shown in ChIPSEC experiments. Now let's load the file. The selected file is shown here. Next, I need to tell GeneRanker which organism the genes are from. So I select the mouse in this list. Finally, we choose the biological annotation categories for which the program will generate the statistics based on our input genes. For mouse, no canonical signal transduction pathways are available here. I select everything else. We have literature mining, that is, co-citation based signal transduction pathways. Then the three different gene ontology categories. Diseases, both based on co-citation and from mesh. and the tissues, again co-citation-based and from Unigene. Lastly, there are co-cited genes and transcription factors. Now we can start the analysis. On the result page, we get ranked lists of overrepresented terms in each of the categories we selected. The rank is determined by a p-value for finding the same or a higher number of genes annotated with the respective term by chance. In the signal transduction pathways, we find PIPA alpha and PIPA gamma, but also the CEPP alpha pathway. Nine genes are in the top ranking pathway. With the Show All columns button, you can display the gene symbols and gene IDs. In the GO category of molecular functions, the first three entries are rather generic terms. But we also find more lipid metabolism specific terms, such as OACYL transferase activity or monocarboxylic acid binding. In the gene ontology category biological processes, fatty acid and lipid metabolism rank at the top of the list. Among the diseases, we find lipid, but also sugar metabolism disorders. This is true both for the co-citation-based and the mesh term-based annotation. In the co-cited tissues, we find adipocytes at position 1 of the list, but also specifically 3T3L1 cells, which was the cell type under observation in the experiment. The unigene tissue associations are a bit less specific. Adipose tissue appears in the top 10. The gene that is most heavily co-cited with our input genes is PPARG. The next in the list, FABP4, codes for fatty acid binding protein. And adiponectin is a regulator of glucose and fatty acids. The others are also mostly involved in lipid metabolism. The transcriptional repressor NR0B2 has been suggested as an antagonist of adipocyte differentiation. The last thing I'd like to show you is how you can run an analysis on the human orthologs of your input genes. You remember that we couldn't select the canonical signal transduction pathways for our mouse genes. The orthologous mapping option here on the input page is a kind of a workaround for this restriction. After activating it, I can now select the first annotation type as well. Just let me deselect the others. Now we can run it once more. We get a list of overrepresented canonical pathways, for example, from BioCarta or NCI Nature. And obesity pathways at the top of this list which has been generated using the human equivalents of the mouse genes. 
if we follow this link to the genomatics pathway system, we can have a look at the corresponding pathway graph. The pathway is shown in the cellular layout, so we can see into which cellular compartment each element belongs. Our input genes have an orange background. The other elements of the pathway are either white or gray. Another alternative layout shows you the hierarchical view. Now the upstream elements of the pathway are painted at the top and the downstream elements are at the bottom of the graph. To learn more about a specific gene in the pathway, double click it. The gene info box gives you general information on the selected gene, DNA sequence and co-citation based information, as well as information on associated small molecules and drugs. That's it once more. Thank you for watching this video. For a general introduction to this part of the Genomatics software suite, please watch our Genomatics Pathway System tutorial.